Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today I'm going to be talking about the uh, a gear set that I really like in this game that I feel like not enough people use slash even maybe know about. Um, but I'm here to rectify that. Also, you might notice I'm wearing my glasses today. I almost never wear my glasses in videos because you can see they have this awful glare in them, which is the reflection of my computer screen. But if I, I mean, if I tilt them like this, it's fine, but I'm not doing that because that's uncomfortable. I just wore them today because I didn't feel like taking them off. So here I am fully glassed up that it makes me look like an intellectual. It means that I, um, I, I know what I'm talking about. So you better listen to me today. I'm talking about a gear set that's severely underrated. And that is the Barkingham Palace gear set. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I see a, lo a lot of people think that the Zeus gear is the end all be all. And I don't know why. Um, like, uh, the amount of people I see that, uh, farm Mount Olympus because, I mean, obviously Mount Olympus gear is good. I, I'm not telling you that it's not good. It is some of the best gear up until level 60. But what I don't understand is why everyone's so focused on Zeus gear when realistically this dungeon is just as easy, if not easier, and gives better gear. I don't really get it. I mean, maybe I'm just not in with the kids these days, but whatever. Um, so Barkingham Palace is a dungeon that you unlock at level 40. It's one of the four dungeons that came out with Darkmoor, which is obviously why the gear is good. The gear from all four of them is pretty good. Obviously, Kim Lung Village is probably the worst because it's the least applicable because at level 30, you're probably going to switch to something like Zeus gear and, you know, so on and so forth. But what I want to show today is just the sheer difference between the two, because there is a difference. And especially if you're a hitter, you definitely need to focus on this rather than the Zeus gear. And when I see a lot of people, you know, praising the Zeus gear because it's really good, what I don't understand is, uh, you know, because a lot of times they're talking about the damage. The damage is really good on it. But the damage on this Barkham Palace gear is better. And here, I'm going to pull this up. Uh, this is on Final Bastion, like all the things that, uh, I do are, right? So... If we look at it, um, they don't have the full stats here, which is disappointing, but you can see. So let's look at death, for example, because death is, you know, pretty good. We have eight damage, two resist, three power pip, whatever, 10 damage, and then six damage. So if we add that up, that's six plus eight, which is 14 plus 10 is 24. 24 damage is not the worst in the world obviously it gives other stuff like power pip that's 12 percent power pip and uh nine percent accuracy so okay that's not bad right but if we look at the barkingham palace gear the hat gives 10 damage or sorry that's the boots i thought i was on the hat the hat gives 12 damage the robe gives 14 damage and the boots give 10 that's already Roman boots 24 plus another 12 is um 36 so it gives a whopping 12 more damage that's a lot of damage like I, I can't stress that's a lot of damage and it's really good I mean there's a reason why my storm wizard wore the Barkingham palace gear up until level 60 and it's because the Barkingham palace gear is that good and it's not just the damage if you look at it the uh power pip 5 plus 5 plus 4 that's 14 rather than the nine that the other one gave and i mean obviously the resist seems to be the worst part of it but it does still give six accuracy so that's not that bad but it's also important to note that um there's these rings as well you can see that the rings dropped by chief whip uh give power pip and damage which is really really good i think not enough people know about barkingham palace and just how good this gear is this gear will last you up until level 60 no problem and um i think that's that's important to look at let's let's look at a different one to give you a different example let's look at storm because i know that storm is one of the ones that people will be interested in so you can see the zeus gear gives 11 15 and 8 so that is uh 19 plus 15 which is uh, uh 34 all right so 34 then if we go over here to the storm gear um it is the palace guards gear this gives 12 uh oh wait no it's the royal it's the royal stuff sorry uh 13 
plus 15. 13 plus 15 plus uh, 13, which is 26 plus 15, which is, it's only 2% more, but it is important to note that there's obviously stats, the other stats that come with it, like the power pip, which will go up by a solid little bit. And you know, it's, it's okay. Now, the, honestly, the storm one actually in retrospect is probably the one that you want the least, but certain schools, you definitely want the Barkingham Palace gear and you definitely want all of it. Like, um, if we look at, let's see, nine and three. Yeah, if we look at the myth gear, especially, like myth and death seem like some of the best ones. Um, 12, which is about the same. And then seven, which is... Yeah, so the myth one's definitely better, but it's also important to note the rings, as I've said in the past, or as I said earlier, the rings are really, really good, um, like, some of the better types of gear, but, but that's all I wanted to go over, let me, let me close this now, so I don't get carried away. The reason why I wanted to mention this is because, um, I talked about, you know, in my unpopular opinion video, I talked about why I think the Zeus gear is unnecessary, and a lot of people disagreed with me there. And they said that the Zeus gear is like really good. It, it will, you know, carry you up until level 60. But what I'm confused about is why people aren't talking about Barking Camp Palace. Because Barking Camp Palace gear is better overall. No matter what school you are, it's better. And it is generally easier to farm. I think that the drop rates are actually higher on the Barkingham Palace. I mean, from my experience, the drop gear is higher. And this is uh, for all you crowns players out there that have an infinite amount of crowns. There's a second chance quest or chest at Dr. Jackal and there's not at Zeus, which means realistically, if you have a bunch, a bunch of crowns, you only need to do the dungeon once. You don't even need to do it multiple times. So that's all I really wanted to say. All I really wanted to talk about today, because I feel like, uh, you know, it, it's something that isn't mentioned a lot. Um, so let me know what your opinions are in the comments below. I'm sure that some people will go, oh, but Noah, the Zeus gear. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I just choked on my own spit. They'll be like, Noah, the Zeus gear, the Zeus gear. And I'll be like, did you watch the video? <laughs> and that's really it. Um, I think the one major argument that can come from this is that some people think that Zeus takes a shorter amount of time. I don't think it does. Um, I mean, obviously, if you have a really high level... Um, you could probably get the dungeon done in about 10 minutes, maybe. But same goes for this. And, you know, I just think this gear's better. So that's all I had to say. If you enjoyed or if you learned that this gear is pretty good, uh, drop a like at the sub button. Maybe channel membership if you want to. If not, that's okay as well. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you all for watching.